start for thank you for having um, us and having your time today. It's a pleasure. And yeah, um, um, how's your day been? Not very good because my hot water service blew up before. Oh. So I hope there's some plumbers coming this afternoon oh, to replace it. That's not good. <laughs> Okay. It's only 18 years old, so... Oh, oh okay. Well, it was oh. like... It's a decent life. It's had a, it's had a good life, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let's get into it. Okay. okay. So, first question. What year did you work at Bunyong Primary School and in what role? Well, I came here in 1982, believe it or not. Yep. As vice principal. Oh, yeah. And I taught grade six in the very far room in the old building. Oh, yeah. Um... What did you rather like, principal or teaching? Oh, well, I had a fair ex idea of both. Aye. I'll go through what teaching skills I've been at, if you like. Yeah. I came back, I was here in 1992 yep. as vice principal. Then I went to Redan, you know where Redan yeah. is, yeah. for one year as vice principal there. Yep. And then they, I applied for this school and got the principal's job. Oh, that's good. So I was here from 1984 to 93. Oh, God. Ten years. Oh, then I retired. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. Uh, what was your question? Was Bunnanyong the only school? No, not at all. Uh -huh. I did my training at Barrett Teachers College. Oh, which yeah. Which was two years. Yeah. Straight from Barrett High School to Barrett mm -hmm. yeah. Teachers College. Then I was lucky enough to get a job, uh, not a, a job, a uh, extension of my studentship to go to Melbourne Uni. I, oh, God. And I did a commerce degree there. Oh, yeah. Which took three years. Yeah. Then, believe it or not, I went to a place in... No, eight, I'll be to put these on, I can't <laughs> In 1963, I was head teacher at a little school called Jung. Ever heard of Jung? <laughs> Whereabouts is that? It's halfway between Horsham and Matoa in the Wimmera. Oh, oh yes, yeah. I know that place. I was, the only teacher, <laughs> I was the only teacher there, and there were 25 children most of the time. Oh, just a so, little school. <laughs> A rural school, yep. Oh, yeah. One teacher, all the grades. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a big shock the first day I was there. This little boy came in and said hello to me, and his sister came in. She said, don't worry about him. He might go to sleep. He's diabetic. Oh. <gasps> Just make sure you have some jelly beans. <laughs> a bit different back in those days, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. his, his sister was excellent. She looked after him and... If he got a bit sleepy, she'd tell me and we'd give him a jelly bean or two and <laughs> build up his sugar again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then in 1965 to 68, I went to another rural school down in the Western District near Mortlake. You know where Mortlake is, roughly? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this was called Wurundu. Oh. Halfway between Mortlake and Ararat. Yeah. Oh, Lake yeah. Bolling, yeah. 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 And I was head teacher there again, and I had an assistant teacher this time. Oh, there were yeah. two of us there. <laughs> Most of the time there were 35 or 40 children. Yeah. So we had about, shared about 20 each. Aye. I took the upper grades and she took the infants. Aye. Then 69 to 72, I ended up at Bendigo Teachers College as a lecturer there. Oh. Went from teaching primary school students to teaching would-be teachers. Oh. Bit of a change, hey girls? Yeah. yeah. I was there for uh, three years and in social studies, trying to lecture in social studies. Great. Oh, great. That became a silly situation. Everybody was chasing <laughs> qualifications, driving to Melbourne twice a week to study. And yeah, okay. Oh. Many of us opted to stay in the school system. Yeah. Hmm. So that took me to Mildura West. You yeah. know where Mildura is? Yeah. Right up Around. in the sunny corner of us. Yeah, around there. Yeah. I've heard of it. I went to Mildura West for three years as vice principal and taught grade five and six. Oh, yeah. Then in uh, 1976 through to 81, I was lucky enough to be principal of a school of about 400 children in called Mildura South. Oh, <laughs> that's good. So I had, uh, what, about nine years in Mildura? Oh, mm. good. God, we loved it up there, beautiful place. A bit of a different temperature change from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a great place to bring up a young family. We had two young children then and uh, my daughter's never forgiven me. 
<laughs> she did dancing up there. Right. And she'd have got life membership if we'd have been there 10 years. Oh. And we're only year. there for nine. <laughs> oh. oh, Dad. <laughs> Anyhow, in 82, we came back to Ballarat uh, and I taught in a grade six set there, in the vice principal. Yeah. 83 with Bredan. Then from 84 to 93, I was here as principal and I did a bit of teaching. I tried to teach about an hour in every grade if I could each week. Yeah. Why do you think I did that? <laughs> to get through all the grades. To get through all the grades. Yeah. So you can experience other grades. Well, so I got to know the children yeah. in the grades. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you only get to know the ones who get sent to the office. <laughs> 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 no, it was called time release. Teachers were oh. allowed about two hours free of class in that oh. day, those days. Oh yeah. So I used to that's go to each cool. class for about an hour. Oh. That's good. And then in my couple of years, two or three years, I taught art and craft to each class yeah. as part of that time release. So. Oh, and we taught, really oh, you can't see the old building, the big old room in the old building. That was our art and craft room then. Oh. We used That's to send cool. lots of smoke through the rest of the school, <laughs> <laughs> making candles and so on. <laughs> right, so that's uh, my time in Bunnyong and my other teaching careers. Oh, yeah. So you've been like everywhere? Not everywhere. A lot of teachers move around. Yeah. A lot to stay in the one area, but it's a personal choice. Yeah. yeah. Good experience. Your turn. Oh God, your turn. Um, was Bunning Young your only principal role, and where else have you teached? Yeah, well, I've just been. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. We've just been through number three. We're up to. Yeah. Um. Where was your office located? Well, you know where this general office is for the secretary across the corridor? Yeah. We used to come in the front door and there was a big old room on the other side. And that was the main office for principal. Oh. And it was a big room. It had all the copiers and printers in it. Yeah. And the secretary worked there half time or full time. Yeah. So there was no privacy if I want to interview a child about something or parents wanted to interview me there was no privacy oh, well. so I opted out of there after a few years and went into that small room which is on that corner as you near the general the photocopier yeah room. yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. is yeah. that what's called now yeah it's good. it was the first aid room then I moved in there yeah. oh yeah it had no ceiling so it was not private really <laughs> but at least I could have one-to-one -one chats with yeah. visitors it, and was it cold it is freezing in that room now. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it was fairly cool, yeah. yeah. You don't need an ice pack or anything, just walk in there and you're yeah. frozen. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that, I didn't enjoy those places because there was no privacy to talk to students, <laughs> whether they'd behaved or misbehaved. It's like no a chance to talk to parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's about the, the office, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's changed a lot. You can jump on that next one, too. Um, we believe you were in a in charge in charge when when the original original building building was removed was renovated, renovated sorry <laughs> um <laughs> what can you remember about the process Pro what? no there's a process? slight error there because uh, I wasn't in charge when that building was renovated Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yep. they, yeah. They built all this area here. Oh, okay. So what happens there, the regional office in Ballarat, they work out who's going to get the money and who's going to be next on the building list. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bunanyong School Council put in many representations to say, hey, we've got pretty old buildings and mm. school's growing. Eventually they got put on the building list mm -hmm. and they got the funding and uh, the regional office set all that up. And stage one was built in my time. This is part of stage one. It, the classroom's going down that side of the corridor. Yeah. Yep. I think there are four of them, are there? Yep. There were yep. two across the back here, mm -hmm. and then the library in this area. That was stage oh. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was built in my time. It was built by a firm of Melbourne architects. So the school council interviewed them and thought they, they were only young fellows, but yep. thought they would probably do a great job, and they did. Well, we thought they did. Uh, they tried to marry this building with the brickwork into the old brickwork on, on the old building. Yep. <laughs> the same 
architects the next year built what we call the multi-purpose room, which is out the back here. Yeah. I presume it's still there. The art room. Is that now the art room? Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought art in the office. Yeah. <laughs> the art room. It was built as a multi-purpose room. It was supposed to be the school hall. Oh. Mm. We used to use it as a hall because there were only about 200 children then. Yeah. Oh. But uh, we soon gave up using it for assembly because it had a shocking problem with it. Oh. It uh, echoed badly. Oh. It's all hard services. One of our um, other interviewees, Helen Chandler, yeah. she spoke about that and about how they had to put um, some soundproofing. Like carpet areas yeah. on the walls, yeah, to s- <laughs> absorb the sound, yeah. <laughs> it was a building made just of all solid bricks and uh, solid ceiling, solid floor on a concrete, mm-hmm. and it echoed like anything. So it was terrible to be in there, especially trying to sing and all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that had to be fixed up in uh, shortly after it was opened, and uh, they put these big, big areas along the wall. You might recall them; they've been in there, I guess. Yeah. Which are carpeted, and that was to absorb the sound and stop the echoing. Right. Yeah. So they were the two stages that were built in my time, and oh. the rest of what I haven't seen out the back, but it's a fair bit. <laughs> there must be a fair bit out there. Yes. <laughs> um, I remember Errol talking about. Um, this being constructed was there an issue were they trying to get it all on the same ground level at one stage at uh, one stage but there was a lot of s- removal of soil would have taken place yeah yeah. so they opted to have the steps yeah which didn't help some children mm. and some of the older teachers I remember that, um, it might have been Helen Chandler or it might have been Errol talking about it made quite a racket when they were trying to drill into the oh, the, the, the rock underneath yeah yeah, yeah. Um, next question. Yep. Okay. Um, what, oh, it's a schoolhouse, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I can cover five and six for you if you like. Well, one's number six. <laughs> number five says, were there any major other developments in your 11 yeah. years? Yeah. No, just stage one and stage two. That's all that was developed. Oh, yeah. Pre those, pre any of this happening, about this side, yeah, it would have been about here. There were three portable classrooms joined together. Oh, yeah. A staff room in the middle, and each end there was a classroom, and then there's a schoolhouse, school residence, on the end, where a principal could live if he wanted to. Mm. But I didn't use it because I already had a house over at Napoleon's that I lived in with my family. But another teacher who lived nearby uh, applied to the regional office, and he was given permission to live in the residence if mm. he wanted to and pay the rent. So. The old building, there were six classrooms in that old building. Three low, three, three, I can't say, relocatables were joined together in a line, and then the horrible old toilets were out the back. They were septic system and smelt it. (laughs) Luckily, Bunanyong Town was put on the sewage system soon after they started that stage, and the septic system didn't apply anymore. It's right. horrible. <laughs> and the residence was on the end of those relocatables, so it was out almost on the edge of Simpson Street. Yeah. Mm. I don't well, know what they did with it. They moved it to somewhere down on the coast. Sure. Yeah, okay. I have a feeling it went down Port Ferry Way or somewhere like that. Yeah. Your turn. Um, was, yeah. can, you ex- can you ex- explain the changes you saw through... Throughout the school, throughout the, sorry, My through career, your yeah. career. career. Yeah. Okay. Well, most of the changes that occurred were, I guess, pupil related, pupil numbers. The bigger the school, the bigger issues develop. Mm. Uh, I moved from one teacher schools into larger primary schools like here in Mildura South, um, which meant you had some specialist teachers sometimes, yep. such as a librarian or a, an art craft teacher, a phys ed, a music teacher. Sometimes you had a secretary who did office work for you, Mm -hmm. full-time or part-time. So they were probably the main changes. Uh, Obviously there were changes in curriculum going along all the time Mm -hmm. and subjects were dropped. We tried to introduce computers, not with much success. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Very few of us knew much about computers, so uh, we let children play games basically on them, (laughs) get them some keyboarding skills. That would have been a big thing though. I'd oh. imagine having the computers in the school. Yeah, I think we had about <laughs> six. 
Yeah. Six were in here. And uh, each class got a session per week in here. Okay. Yeah. Which wouldn't have helped them much. No. <laughs> in all honesty. <laughs> You're on computers nearly all day, aren't you? Uh, iPads. 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 Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Computerised, so, yeah. 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 It's still the same. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so changes there, as I say, were mainly in my career were because of the pupil numbers growing in the schools I was at. Mm. Did you notice a change in your own, the amount of work that you had to do over the period of your career from when you first started in a principal role to when you finished up? Oh, yes. Yeah. Quite considerably, yeah. Yeah. But I still tried to get that time release period because it was the only way you could get the two hours a week for teachers. Mm. Somebody had to give it. So yeah, I, absolutely. I tried to do time release around uh, all those schools. Yeah. But, yeah, the, the load became quite heavy in the end. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine Mr. Conlon being back in the classroom, girls? <laughs> no. What do you think? Should we start setting that up? Yeah, yeah. Going to yeah. each classroom? Yeah. 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 Going to each classroom, yeah. teach for... Yes and no. You soon get to know the devils. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not you two girls, though. No. Never no. misbehave, would you? No. 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 <laughs> but you get an idea... <laughs> You get an idea how that class is functioning by just how they relate to you, basically. It's mm. good. Rather than meeting them at the office. Yeah, that's right. Mm. I, well, I'm probably sure talking to a lot of principals, they would probably love having the opportunity to do that nowadays, but unfortunately yeah. I, th- I think the demands of the just, job might <laughs> yeah. might have made that a bit hard. Mm. I'm, sure, I'm sure it would have, yeah. yeah. Um, how do you... Are we up to that one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How do you imagine your work as principal would be different to what Mr. Conlon does today? Well, um, as an ex-principal, I, I don't envy Mr. Conlon and his job because of a number of factors. Much larger enrolment. What have you got here? 600? 630. Yeah, yeah most we had in my time here was about 320. Yeah. So it doubled the population in the school. That meant, obviously, more children to deal with. More parents to deal with. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully, most parents were good to deal with, but they're great. Yeah. <laughs> most most in this community are. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Conlon would have more staff to deal with and specialist staff to deal with. What specialists do you have here? Um, PE, arts, music. STEM, music, and Japanese, library. Library. and library. And library. Yeah. Library. Oh, very good. Yeah. Computerisation, of course, wasn't in schools as you get it. Yeah. So Mr. Conlon would be up with computerisation. <laughs> well, he tries his best. <laughs> or he has a specialist who helps him. Yeah. Uh, I can't read what I've written here. Oh, the, co- the curriculum has spread quite tremendously in the last... since I retired. I think teachers now are expected to teach more subjects and mm. do more and more that perhaps sometimes should be the parents' job. <laughs> but I'm yeah. being a bit political there. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, road safety and all this sort of stuff yeah. should be taught at home as much as anywhere rather than in the school. Mm. Mm. Uh, I have another... Oh, the introduction, of course, of Scotsburn as an annex came the year after I left. Yeah. How's that going? Yeah. Going well. Yeah, some Scotsburn kids were down here at recess. They're all down here today. Yeah. Actually. They have a day, full oh, day down here. Down here. Okay. I wonder yeah. how... Yeah. yeah, they're down here. So, yeah, set up through periods where they'll have a day down here for big events and Scottsburn campus has been used for um, a Ballarat network, a school's network okay. today. So all the kids are coming down here for the day, which is great. They're so, here for the day? Yep. Oh, that was a theory. The school council were approached about having the annex in uh, my last year and there were mixed feelings about it. They wondered how it would work. How would you get the children to and from here? Mm-hmm. They come by what bus or something? Yeah, a school yeah. bus. Oh, do they? Well, parents have yeah. to drop them. So no, we have a, a school bus. Bus. Yeah. Uh, bus would have been a possibility, we thought. We didn't know how it would work. Who would do the secretarial work for Scottsburn School? Mm-hmm. Would it all come here, I presume? Yeah. Yeah. All the book work? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's all done through here. Yeah. And it's yeah. been very successful. Yeah, well, it's been really, going really, really well. So. Really yeah, numbers are, are looking good again. It just provides a bit of a different setting for some kids if they're not enjoying the yeah. busy, chaotic kind of style of bunny on campus. They can head across to the room. Right, and vice versa. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. So we've got quite a few families that will actually have one child here and one child yeah. at Scottsburn. Well, that's a good opportunity, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. How yeah. many would Scottsburn have in most years? 20, 25? Um, no, 50. 
Oh, a couple yeah, of teachers. 50, there. 60. Oh, teachers, they've got, so three classrooms, three teachers, about 50 to 60 kids. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Oh, they've got two classrooms, at least seven of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. I was thinking about one teacher school. Cool. Hey. I thought they had more classrooms. Yeah, no, same. No, only the three. I <laughs> thought there was like four or something. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> So no, it's going well. It went well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Because there was mixed feelings in the school council at the time. Will we be involved? The regional office were pushing us to be involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scottsburn had a fair insight into the school ca- into the regional office. Yeah. And uh, they won their case, and uh, Bunny Young agreed in the end to take it on. Yeah. Yeah. It's worked out well ever since. <laughs> no, I'm pleased to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had an opportunity to work. In a number of school school settings, mm-hmm. um, what made Bunningong Primary special or different from other schools? Uh, well, it was one of the biggest schools I've taught in. Apart from Mildura South, it was a big school. Yeah, yeah. Trouble is, they built Mildura South around us too. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Mildura had its wettest ever winter in the year they built Mildura South School around us, and we were in portables in a mud heap. <laughs> that was Goodness. awful. Mm. Uh, but no, the larger schools, this one down here, Bunanyong has very good community involvement and uh, with that comes scrutiny from the parents. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I found generally Bunanyong to be very interested and supportive of, of the school. Uh, their school councils were very good. Whoever went on those was committed to the school and mm-hmm. took a lot of interest. Uh, the Parents Club was another group who were very supportive of the school. They seem to raise a lot of money at one stage for the school to buy probably the computers. Right. Yeah, they were the main things. Like bigger school, more community involvement and more interest, I think. Yeah. Mm. And the same interest is spread, of course, when you've got a lot of parents. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, are there are there other memories or stories you would like to share? for your time at school. I've written down a few things. I didn't think they'd fit in there. We used to run an annual school fair. I think it was held on a Saturday. Uh, Every grade came up with some activity for school fair day. It was a big Mm -hmm. fundraiser for the school. Lots of people came and spent money on the stalls and games and activities. Peter Innes was a key man in developing a lot of that. He teed up... Ever heard of Humphrey B. Bear? No. I have. <laughs> Humphrey B. Bear was a Channel 9, what would you say, puppet? Uh, um, character, like. Character, um, yeah. Uh, dress up. Yeah. Kind of like a big bird, but a bear. Yeah, a bit like that. Yeah. 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 He came up here, we had to pay him a fairly substantial fee. Oh, really? <laughs> but uh, it attracted a big crowd that day. That particular mm. fair raised an awful lot of money. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of it due to Humphrey B. Bear being the attraction. <laughs> Every year the Bunanyong Festival happened in February. I don't know whether it still goes or not. I'm not too sure. I don't there's think it does. something market on... Yeah, there's a few markets market. and stuff happening, no. so I don't think it's the same. This was a t- festival occasion. It was happenings around the town. Yeah. The school used to take part in that each year with a uh, art show, art exhibition. Mm-hmm. Not of the school children's art, but local artists would put their paintings in yeah. and uh, they were available to buy them. Yeah. We sold lots of them for them and got a commission. Uh, we developed a camping program in those years. Preps in grade one stayed after school. We didn't throw them in the deep end. They just stayed after school. <laughs> yeah. Night time they went home. <laughs> grade two and three stayed overnight in the old school. Slept in the old school. Mm-hmm probably heard it creaking and groaning and <laughs> <laughs> and then if you're in grade four to six we ran camps that went away from Bun and Yong. Oh. And away for perhaps four or five days. At the oh. most a week, yeah. Lucky. And we had a camp out at Dean at a place called Atticut. And another one we went to many years, uh, at Ocean Grove, down on oh. the coast. Ocean oh. Grove. Mm. They nice. still have camps here? Or? Yeah, yeah, we've still got camps. We're off, off to a grade three, four camp next week at Cavefield Creek near Beaufort. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, they get to go to Beaufort? Where are you guys off to camp? Melbourne. 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 Oh, Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne right. experience, which would be great. So yeah. Where do you go at the Melbourne one? Pardon? Whereabouts at the camp in Melbourne? <laughs> um, 
I'm not sure. Bit of everywhere. Yeah. Oh, everywhere. We're like do doing some a, are we doing an amazing race or I think something? So, yeah. yeah. Something similar We're doing that. a lot. So they've got a bit of exploring to do. So <laughs> teaching them a bit oh. of independence and a bit of um, right. city mouse. Well, Dura yeah. South came down, believe it or not, all the way by train to a camp in Melbourne. And the camp was held in conjunction with the Melbourne Zoo area. They had some sort of camp there. And they were down in Melbourne for nearly a week. But yeah. they came down on a train, overnight train. Came back on the overnight train at the end of the week, <laughs> exhausted. But they enjoyed their Melbourne. Yeah. Um, do you have a school bus route now going down south to Grenville area? Oh, where else is that? <laughs> There's a bus, yeah. 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 That started in my time. Some of the parents down the way got sick of driving their kids up and down every day. <laughs> Especially if they had kids in, you know, prep. And yeah. Have to bring them in Monday early or later and mm. bring the others later. <laughs> So a school bus route went down to Grenville, and that was a, very much appreciated by the parents down there, and they worked hard to get it, and the regional office agreed to it in the end. We had what's called an after-school program, yeah. Yeah. which worked in association with the Shire of Bunnerino, who provided the uh, instructor, I suppose you call it, the person yeah. who ran it. Is that still a play? Yep, we've yeah, we've got a yeah base after school base twelve seventy. It's called okay. Um, so that's running yeah through yeah. the holidays as well and oh, holidays after school, and after school before school. school as well, which has been great. Yeah. So, yeah, we used to use that multi-purpose room as I call it. Oh, okay, yeah, as the centre for it. Yeah, because it was a canteen they could use to provide food for the kids. Yeah, perfect. It's good. They're located down near the um, gymnasium. Okay, the right. days, so. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I think would be considered worth mentioning was if a safety system, safety house system was set up in Bunnanyong Town. Oh. And where that's, you've seen houses with little yellow no. diamonds on, uh, pyramids on there, triangles on their letterboxes. No. It was a big... I remember that, Sage. Yeah, yeah safety house position. program was pretty much statewide. Uh, the idea was that if kids walked to school or rode bikes to school and felt they were being followed or annoyed, yep. they could find the nearest safety house and the person there promised they'd look after them, contact the police or the school or both. I don't know that anybody ever used it for any particular purpose. No, I don't know. Never, I, I remember as a student knowing about it yeah. and seeing it very visible, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know how it, popular it was. It no, used. I think in this community it probably didn't have a big place, but yeah. it was there, it was sitting anyhow. Yeah. I never heard of any pupils having to use it, which was good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Andy. Um, well, one of the questions that kids often will have, particularly of a principal, is what used to happen when the students were misbehaving? Uh, <laughs> what well, was the process back then when you were principal? Well, the process had long finished where you could, if it was a boy, you'd give him a whack with a strap. Oh. Corporal punishment, it used to be called. <laughs> No, uh, that was the education department said no, we're not to inflict corporal punishment on children, mm. which was a jolly good move. Mm. I think I can only remember using the strap on one boy oh, in my God. teaching career, Jeez. and that and <laughs> that hurt me more than him. I think <laughs> you know you felt for the child, and what you tried to do was uh, discuss the issues with them, hopefully yeah. get the message through to their their brain that they'd done wrong or why they'd done wrong and they could perhaps explain it to you but uh, yeah corporal punishment was no longer an option yeah. not, thank god not far into my career thank goodness yeah I didn't enjoy the thought of having it mm. what was the punishment for the girls just getting growled at oh, oh. made to be feel made to feel that they'd done wrong oh mm. <laughs> would that worry them Mm, it depends on what it is. <laughs> they probably walked out and shook their shoulders and said, oh, well. <laughs> That's off my sleeve now. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of, them, uh, most of them responded pretty well. But you need to discuss what they'd done wrong yeah. and what they yeah. should have done, perhaps. Yeah. was the main issue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. Have you got a conclusion to us? Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there... Are there, no, the, what? are you coming? Oh, are you coming to the 1st of September for the... I'm hopeful I'll be there. 1st yeah. of September is the 
a night occasion, or is that the day one? Uh, <laughs> the assembly during the day, yeah. 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 And there's also the night, yeah. Oh, the same day. And yeah. there's a seat for you at the front, is A seat for me? Yeah. Absolutely, and we can be, arrange that, Kevin. And, <laughs> and we, if you would like, we could help you around to look like, show you around the school. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see the school, yeah. 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 It's grown so much. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's exploded. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be, that's on what day is that? Uh, Friday. Friday, so Friday right. first. Yeah. It's not that my wife and I go away very much, but we're going to Bendigo this weekend. Oh, uh, oh nice. I'm sure we'll be home next week. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to reply that? Um, or just turn up? Just turn up, we'll be fine. We'll have a seat ready to go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sure Bernie might touch base beforehand. Yeah. But. One little thing I have thought of, when they developed Stage 1, they also created a small oval at the back of the school, mm-hmm. oh. which was quite tiny. You wouldn't want to play a footy game mm-hmm. on it. There's just an oval down there now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would have been a paddock back in, yeah. back in your day. Yeah. Across English Street was called the Catholic Paddock oh, because yeah. it was owned by the Catholic Church oh. Uh, oh. in Ballarat area. And every, we tried to obtain use of it, but every time they said, no, we think we'll be building a school on it. Oh. They'll hopefully have a Catholic school in Bunnanyong. Mm. Uh, so we weren't allowed to have use of it, yeah. which was a shame. Could have extended our playground quite a bit. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They've had houses built on some of it, I gather now. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Yes. Can the school use it at all? Um, so we've got the first part of the paddock. Okay. Um, so that's our new school oval. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Which has been great. Um, and then that is now taken up with classrooms. Yeah. Um, A-E-R. So back when I was a student here, girls, that oval used to be our oval we used to play on. Oh, um, so yeah, that was that yeah, it was built straight after the stage one here. They built this oval and put a watering system on it. Mm. It worked very nicely mm. most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. from a few comments from the teachers, often it was um, very wet. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't reliable, though. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Well, thank you very much, Kevin, for coming in and being a part of the interview. And well done, girls. Yes, yeah, yeah, very good. Thank you for nice your time. Nice to meet you both. And yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, John. lovely. Nice All to right. meet you. I've enjoyed it.